Hey Lemons, welcome back to another video of mine. So, kinda out of nowhere, but Animal Jam was sold. Just yesterday, actually, which was August 30th, 2022. I heard the news while I was at my work, so I couldn't get the video out until only today. Sorry about that. This was kinda shocking news for me, and a bunch of others, and I wanted to let more people know too, so I decided to make a video on it. Basically, Wildworks, a Utah-based company, was sold for $10.4 million to a company called Nazara Technologies. Apparently, it was an all-cash transaction, which is crazy. That is a ton of money for Wildworks, which is a company that's not even as popular as it used to be. Although, Nazara Technologies believes it can take Wildworks and their games and enhance them and bring them to new levels. Anyways, who is the company who bought Animal Jam? Nazareth Technologies is a platform for mobile gaming and sports media. It's a company that's based in India. The two Wildworks founders, Clark Stacy, Wildworks Chief Executive, and Amos, Chief Operating Officer, will serve in the company in their existing positions, so they will remain working on Animal Gem 2. Don't worry. It was apparently part of the deal that they would stay and continue leading their current positions in the startup. Nazra was looking for a partner in the field of fun with substance for children, which is making games for kids that have both educational and fun components. So Wildworks was the perfect partner for them. While working on the script, Clark, Stacy ended up making a post about how Animal Jam was sold. So I'll go over that with y'all. I'm just gonna read what he wrote in the post. In a nutshell, good news for the AJ community. We've been talking to Nazra for over four years and I've always been impressed with their integrity and business ingenuity. While we've discussed the possibility of an acquisition in the past, those conversations got serious earlier this summer. I visited them in Mumbai and we talked about their commitment to growing Animal Jam and enabling it to expand in new directions. They saw the energy in the AJ community and wanted to give us the resources to serve the community faster and better. So yesterday we made it official, Wildworks is now part of the Nazra family of studios. This will be huge for Animal Gym players. New games, new experiences in Jamal, new jammers in parts of the world, faster improvements, optimizations, and more features. And yes, bug fixes too. What about Feral, Cinder, and that blockchain stuff? Prior to the deal with Nazra, Cinder Studios separated from Wildworks and we will carry on an entirely separate company run by Mike Lopez formerly the CFO at Wellworks. They own the IP and assets of Feral and Cinder and will continue developing for their audience. Wildworks will return 100% of our focus to games for kids, especially Animal Jam and the community our players have created there. What will this mean for players? We have some exciting announcements for you later this year, but here's the TLDR. Animal Jam is on solid ground with an amazing publicly traded community backing it. The AJ team will be growing and doubling down on making great stuff for the player community we love. Thank you, Jammers, for supporting us through all of our ups and downs, for celebrating when we get things right and correcting us when we get them wrong. I promise we'll work even harder for you with Nazareth Strengths as our foundation. So, wow, that's a lot to take in there. I need a deep breath after that. From the sounds of it, it's good news for Animal Jam and its game for the future, that it'll expand into more than what we know it as now. And I can't believe that they've been talking Nazra for years, that's really interesting. Also, at the end when they said correcting them when we get things wrong, I wonder if they've ever seen my videos before? I kinda do that a lot. I mean, it'd be funny if they have, they are subscribed, but I, I don't think they actually watch people's vids. Nazra Tech says they hope to localize Animal Jam for more territories and continents in the world, which means potentially other areas in the world could play Animal Jam in their own languages, which, if you didn't know, is a huge opportunity, especially for the bigger countries out there. Maybe countries like China, Japan, or India could actually be able to play Animal Jam in their own languages. That would definitely allow Animal Jam to gain more attention. They also plan to develop new apps centered around Wildworks and their games, which could mean some other Animal Jam apps and games. So that's pretty exciting news to hear. I am very curious to see what they come up with for the new apps. Lots of things are going to happen with the Nazra technologies taking over Wildworks and Animal Jam, and I'm completely fine with that. I typically don't like change, although for this case, I'm happy with it. And here's why. Animal Jam isn't that popular anymore. Same with other Wildworks games. The company has been declining in revenue over the last few years, and I think most of us realize that. Wildworks and Animal Jam haven't been doing as good as they used to back when they were first launched. That's just the facts. 
It's sad, but there isn't much Wildworks could have done. They tried to work on the game and bring new updates and features, but there's only so much they can do. They even tried to prioritize Animal Jam Play Wild over Classic, as it did better money-wise. But they still had a hard time, especially when they don't have that many workers for their company. No wonder the help and support is terrible. They don't have enough people to attend to everyone's Animal Jam problems and needs. But now everything has changed. There is a chance that this new company will take on Wildworks and Animal Jam's game in a different way. A way that hopefully brings more success to the game. That makes it become popular again to people all around the world. And when I say around the world, I mean it. They could be making Animal Jam accessible for a lot of countries. So I really hope Animal Jam gains popularity. Or I hope it does at least. I really do. I know I sometimes bash on Animal Jam time to time, but I do love the game. Criticizing is a natural human thing. Just because you like a show, movie, game, book, it doesn't mean you can't criticize the flaws surrounding it. And that's just what I do. But I can also admit when something is good. And that's why I'm still here, because I do like Animal Jam. So if somehow Animal Jam improves in this new company, then I'll definitely be interested in watching over that and reviewing it. But it's also possible they could ruin the game too. Make it worse or too different from what we all know and love. So that's a concern to ponder about. I don't want what happened to Club Penguin to happen to Animal Jam. We just don't know anything right now, and that kind of sucks, but we cannot do a thing about it. I guess we'll just wait and see how it pans out from here. That's all we can really do. I hope Wildworks and Animal Jam only improve from here on out, and that Nazra Technologies brings the game to a shining success. But that's all I really had to say for this video. I honestly just wanted to explain how Animal Jam and Wildworks was sold. I wanted to talk about my thoughts on it. I wanted to give the good and the bad potential outcomes. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to leave a like. How do you guys feel about this? It's been Liam Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all next time.